myself, along with uh, Tom and Ankit and Jacob, worked on uh, redesigning the Teams page um, because it was a mess before. And I'll just uh, so the basic problem uh, is that there are over 10 static pages for each team, and it's just difficult to update. They're all over the place on the website. There's different URLs, different locations for each one. Um, and the team changes frequently, so it's difficult to find the correct web page, um, update the actual code, which can be hundreds of lines long, and, uh, and then deploy it within a reasonable amount of time. So um, our, our mission, as it were, um, was to rewrite the team pages so that uh, they're database driven, which means we have one central location for all the information, which makes it easier to update. Um, and easy, e it's easily editable because there's just one shorter PHP file, which I'll explain in a second, um, that contains the information. So um, we interns uh, exercised certain skills, including database design in MySQL, because we had to uh, we had to uh, design the structure of the databases so that they would fit our specific needs. Um, we uh, learned how to manage the databases using a free tool called PHP MyAdmin, which gives MySQL uh, a graphical interface because MySQL on its own is a command line uh, tool. Also, we used server-side programming with PHP, which uh, allows us to generate dynamic pages on the server side, which means that we don't have to manually update the code of the web page. Um, and lastly, we gave the team pages a little bit of a facelift uh, using user interface design in HTML. So here's a little diagram about how this all works. So when the client browser requests a PHP file, as you can see in the top arrow, um, it goes to the server and then the server uh, fetches the data that the PHP file needs from the database. And then it sends that to a PHP interpreter, which it needs to do because client browsers don't know how to interpret PHP. Um, so the PHP interpreter uh, renders essentially that, that PHP file into an HTML format that the client browser can read. And it, as you can see in the bottom arrow, it sends that back. So um, that's about it for the presentation. But I do have um, sort of a live demo here. Um, I'm going to show you the public page first. Um, the public team page. Um, so if you'll just stay with me here. All right. So um, as you can see here, this it's uh, in the subheader here. This is generated actually dynamically. So if we add another team, uh, the new team would appear in this navigation bar here without any uh, changes to the um, to the basic code of the website. Um, and you can see here, workshop leaders is not a link, while the others are, because we're actually currently on the workshop leaders page. Um, so we coded that. And if I go to developers, for instance, um, you'll notice that, first of all, the description changes. Um, the, the people who are listed also changes. Um, and you can see that workshop leaders is now a link. This is done using a what's called a PHP get variable. Um, which essentially tells the server which subset of the data to send out to the client's browser, what the, essentially what they're requesting. Um, so I think that's about it for the team page itself. Um, I'm just going to pull up the... So this is, this is sort of the back end. This is what we use to enter data. Um, and so we had this basic form that we designed ourselves um, using PHP and uh, HTML combined. Um, and basically, we just have all the forms that, or all the, all the fields that, um, that you would want to place on the team page. And we talked about, I talked earlier about the page being easily editable. 
Um, and that's what this list of names here is. This is a list of every name that's in the database. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my entry. And you can see another one of those get variables up there because that's telling the server which, which entry in the database to get the information from. And using PHP, it fills in um, all the information about me that's already in there.